Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday night. It's finally ready for some paint. I think. It's going to be um, basically um, acid etch primer. I think they call it a wash primer or something like that. Um, 2K wash primer, a sealer sort of thing. So, um, yeah. But it's an acid based jobby. So that's going on. Um, we're finally getting some pay on. Whee, whoop, whoop. Can't wait. Alright, I'll get you back when I've done that bit. Okay, finally, we've got uh, a coat of paint on it. So that's that um, acid etch. Next will be the primer. So, yeah. I've got it everywhere, I think. I hope. We'll see. Okay, catch you in a bit. Now this is um, the primer. Um, there's some mumbo jumbo on the back, which I haven't got no, no foggiest idea. I can sort of guess roughly, but it says that it's um, a sealer and a high build primer. It's got 600, uh, 60 to 100. I think that means parts per million. And the other one's um, the primer is 160 to 200 parts per million, I think that's what it means. But um, yeah, the rest is in foreign. <laughs> oh, here we go, there's some English. Uh, stopper with filling power for car finishing field can be tinted. Blah blah blah. Polyacrylic stopper. Anyway, so yeah, so it's got a lot of a hardener and a, a thinner with it. So. Okay, so that bit's next. I've got that old gun, which is a 1.7 tip. Um, it's a uh, Asturo gun. Anyway, it's an eBay special, so yeah. No, nope. give it a try. All right, guys. This is going to be a silly question for some of you. You'll go, uh, oh, silly bloke. What causes a paint, paint build-up on the um, air horns, or the, whatever you call it? I think it's air horns, isn't it? That side's just, um, it's been in the, in the thinners, but, so it's sort of moulded back in, but it was like, uh, it was growing, like um, stalactites on the air horns. So, just wondering what causes that air pressure problem, or something, I don't know. I was running um, 40 psi through the gun, um, but the little compressor was struggling to catch up, keep up, so maybe it um, dropped off quite a bit, but um, averaging, well the, the um, gauge was 40 psi, let's put it that way. Um, it's a 1.7 tip, and um, 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 what else, and that um, thinner, is, uh, that uh, paint is mixed 5 to 1 with one of thinners, so five, oh crikey, five paint, one hardener, one thinners, yeah, five to one to one, something like that, you'd be a bloody chemist, don't you, anyway, so, yeah, that's the question, what causes the, the paint build up on those horns, please, um, just so you have a quick look, uh, we went for three three coats. Um, relatively smooth. It's smoother on this than it was on um, the uh, Austin. The Austin was quite orange peely. We seemed to waste quite a lot of the depth by getting rid of the orange peel, if that makes any sense. Um, but it, you know, this time I'm using the 1.7 gun, whereas last time I used the 1.4 because that, that gun there was leaking, so I couldn't use it on the day. I couldn't wait, I was too excited. So anyway, there's um, three coats of that. Two coats of acid etch, three coats of that high build stuff. And I've covered everything over now, but it's, um, yeah, high build, spraying, sealing putty stuff. So hopefully that should be enough for me to get uh, a smooth finish out of it. This is um, Thursday night. It's um, actually went on, leveled off quite smooth in the end, so that was quite cool. 
So I'm just going to uh, put on something to use as a um, guide coat. Um, get get to it, I suppose. Bit of sanding. So yeah, quite happy where that turned out in the end. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's covered everywhere. And it's clean, so that's cool. So yes, that's enough of that rabbit in. Let's get on with it. Now, if you ignore the overspray on this, there's um, some really groovy names they've got for their stuff. Um, Spato Rapid. <laughs> yeah, looks like what comes out of the back of a rat if you run it over. But anyway, here's um, some uh, very fine uh, stopper, I think. So, I'm just going to do the, the bits and pieces that are obvious and then... Um... Okay, it's uh, Friday night now and um, Tigger has always been my favourite. Um, yeah, finding no spots, as you can see. There's quite a few actually. So, yeah. But, um, as to be expected, it's still sanding. <laughs> Well, yeah, Scotty, it's um, about quarter seven Saturday morning. Um, so I've been identifying um, some uh, some highs and some lows and some some. I guess that's what it's all about, isn't it? So we've had the hammer back out and filler back out. Well, it's not filler; it's the the um, where's filler? I'm mixing filler with putty, so um, to make it a bit smoother. Uh, I don't know if that's all right, but I've done it, so we'll <laughs> live by it. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got some interesting little lows that I've missed, um, and some little ones that I couldn't feel with my hands, fingers. So we'll just sort them out. Um, I'll tell you what. One thing, this stuff's quite, quite aggressive. I'm surprised how much that takes off because in the corner, there's lots and lots. As you can see, there's lots and lots of corners and bits that. Um, uh, there's a load of. Um, uh, spot welds obviously all through there, so you know, it's, I can't do everything with the paper, but this is um, this is supposed to be super fine I don't know what grit that would be in, in if it was uh, paper It's quite quite aggressive. So what I'm doing. I'm not um, the other stuff. I've got is fine, so um, I don't know, Probably a way of finding out clever people probably know professionals uh, what grit that would be equivalent to, but anyway, um, yeah. Um, so I'm not. I'm just not replacing that. That I'm going to leave a leave it. Use an old one. You keep using an old one. So I don't want to take. I'm not heavy, heavy-handed, and keep taking too much off. So, so hopefully I'll get this this um, button down now with some the next bit of filler and primer, and then that'll be it. Then hopefully. A bit of luck. Just as a bit of info, I'm using 600 grit straight away because um, because of my heavy handedness. So uh, yeah, and I'm surprised actually how quick it cuts. Surprising. Just a couple of minutes there, and um, and it's cutting like buggery. So, and I'm doing it dry as well. I don't want to go any near this bloody bulkhead with a with anything, any even a hint of moisture until. Um, Till it's got a top coat on, so I'm just not gonna I'm gonna do it dry. Okay, I think this is uh hopefully this is gonna be the last um coat of um, um, um etch primer. I've been on it all day, it's about um what time is it now? Um twenty past four, so um Next will be a couple of coats of um, high build again, and then now it'll be just a matter of um, just flatten it off now. Hopefully, bit of luck. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's all the primer on. I'm not going to do any more. I, I was getting a bit overexcited. I was going to get on for the top coat, but then I remembered I can't really because I need to let it harden off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. Anyway, yeah, happy enough with that. Okay, catch up with you later. Bye-bye.